Hello man. My name is Ted and welcome to my world of modelling. Um, on this occasion it's railway modelling. Um, this is a bit impromptu today. We didn't plan on doing this video. No. So Stephen was drowned on Christmas Day. And we decided just to show you the early stages of a mod train layout. It's the first one I've done for many, many years now. But basically it's HO gauge, an oval track, figure of eight track. Where I'm making all my own uh, bits and pieces on the yeah. tool and entries. And on the top over plate, if it works, I will have an end gauge, trying to give it some sort of uh, sense of depth in the picture. Yeah. And all that will be built up to get some real height. So there's no plan or anything, you're there's just, no just going to make this up as you go along. So Once completely. they've got all the basic track, well, actually, the tracks do work, they're yeah. the trained working, but there's an awful lot of diorama to do. It's a diorama I'm basically interested in. Yeah. The trains will be interesting, but it's, it's the diorama, the seed I love to make. Uh, make a mound trees, and I made all these tunnel entrances, just plywood. Um, little, little pieces of um, wood, glued on. And then when I wait till the mixture of uh, polyfiller and PVA glue goes up, just stab it up to get that stone texture. Yeah. And then just painted it grey. Now the actual, the actual rocks, this is one that's just had a base colour on. It's all polystyrene. Apart from anything else, it's so light and I didn't want to add too much weight to the model. Now with these retractable blades, as long as they're nice and sharp, it's possible just to cut it cleanly here. And so you can get a nice and smooth finished light rod. And then with some of the texture, um, I can this you can see now. I'll just use this soldering iron just to burn in some of the texture. It's, it's, yeah, it's very effective so, and it does look like so it does work. Yeah. It the footage smells a little bit with the yeah. the uh, polystyrene, but it's got a nice effect. But I try to do most of it with these retractable blades. And this is going to be a waterfall in it, this section here. Well that will be a waterfall. Um, so that will be able to be a bit more. And I will buy some of that uh, scenic, um, it's like a brushing, but it simulates water. Yeah. I'll just pour that on in a powder now. I've never used it before. It's all sort of cast kind of it. Now this will be a lake. All I did, I cut the shape of the lake out mm. and lowered it about three inches and held it position with some aluminium brackets. And just to form this look. It sounds what I've used for these hills. I've used cotton cloth impregnated with white PVA glue, cut into strips. And I'll put this actual part over chicken wire just to support the cotton. And then when oh, that yeah. goes off, yeah. that'll be probably drying a bit another day. I'll give it another coat to give it some strength. Because on that, there will be quite a few trees hopefully, yeah. which I'll make myself. I made this to simulate, that's just plywood. Um, a lot of these would have been made of um, probably cast iron or just mild still, I don't know. But a yeah. lot of those, especially in the building day, we used a lot of red lead. Yeah. So these probably would have just been painted in uh, with the red lead. Well, I just sort of simulated that with red paint. These actual polystyrene um, rocks, a lot of fun to make actually, it's so easy. The problem when you're cutting it, there's a lot of, a lot of static with this. Yeah, bits yeah, of everywhere. yeah, that is a pain, Sticks isn't it? Sticks of the clothing. Yeah. And you might be giving me a bit of a roll, isn't it? Taking some of these parts of the, <laughs> the bits dropping off everywhere. Though. So you've got quite a project on your hands there, haven't you? But um, you just get to use a lot of the old material. Like this is just cardboard from this and all, which is thrown out for Christmas. Yeah. Like any any cardboard does you say? Because it weighs nothing. So I just I mean this is a roadway which I've just used pieces of polystyrene and glucked with them. Oh, I didn't mention this. This is invaluable hot glue gun. Sticks everything. 
but um, I mean that will stick polystyrene together probably two to three seconds so you've got to work really quickly with yeah. it so it's best not to tackle be too big pieces by the time you've got enough glue on the one end it's dry the other so that's invaluable if you want to construct stuff quick like uh, this is just a piece of cloth this road roller it's easy to form the ramp up supported with polystyrene or just cardboard polystyrene chicken wire PVA glue, basic. The basic materials cost nothing. Any part of styrene does, which it has been on this occasion. Now I can't, um, I don't work with any kind of a plan, it just sort of evolves. The trouble is when you work with plans. You govern by what's on the drawing. Well, well that's it, isn't it? Yeah. If you just, like, just let it evolve to the basis, and then you can see when you get so far what you need to do next. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how it develops. It can be awkward sometimes because you can make an obvious mistake that realise that it makes up a bit more work. But I find it more enjoyable building it like this. Yeah, oh, definitely. And as long as you've got, um, you need imagination what it can look like when it's all done, this should look fantastic. Yeah. Oh yeah, the waterfall, yeah. This is eight foot by four foot. Now I had to cut the section off two inches as long to get it in the flat. Then I just bolted that in position. So at some stage if we did move, I don't think we will go. I could actually take it apart without yeah. too much trouble. Yeah. And get it out the door. Yeah. All I would have to do actually is cut the track and We'll probably never have to do that. But, um, but, but, one disadvantage of not having a drawing is I'll put all this base there ready for the end guys on top. And then I remembered I need to form a true radius for the O guys. I had to cut the bottom out and I used a piece of piece of wood with an owl in the one end. And a series of holes and then just scribe round the size of one this, in this case this was I think it was a 20 and a half inch radius so 41 inches which is easy just to scribe a perfect radius you see yeah so I've got the radius right I've got the track down and just glue that bit of wood back on there to support that but that was a little mistake I made without having a drawing but generally speaking yeah that's all I prefer, part of the fun Pardon? Learn oh, from your mistakes and as you go along. And just save money where you can. I mean, I only bought so much of this track base for the ballast. Yeah. So, I may do with a bit of carpet at the back, but that will be hidden because all this will be built, and all this, or the whole back part will be hidden by the hills. Yeah. And I'll have access to everything just by, and that's a good point. If you've got something like this in a confined space, put the legs on castors. Yes, yeah. I can move it easily. Makes life a lot easier, doesn't it? Which I have to do many times with it to get at the back. Yeah. But I, I mean, I work without drawing. I wouldn't recommend it for everybody. But I just prefer to let things evolve. I haven't yeah. made too many mistakes at the moment. Well, it's worked well so far, hasn't it? But you just, you need to have a, just a fair idea in your mind of what you want it to look like. Yeah. I mean, I can just... You know, if you've got the imagination, I can have visited a beautiful little lake there. Yeah. Maybe a couple of fishermen. Of course you get so, a lot of inspiration. Look at some of these magazines. Right on yeah, yeah. I'm a lovely scene of Scotland. I mean, to me that looks absolutely magic. Yeah, yeah, it's nice, isn't it? So, but that's sort of inspiration. So hopefully, COVID permitting, well, that's if it. I'll, I'll be back to do an update whenever whenever we're allowed. So obviously, with it being Christmas Day, well, we're allowed to go around the each other's houses. The but interesting. Um, and I hope we do another one for Shelby Day, because that's just going to yeah. be, what would you say, about five, six weeks? Yeah, I mean, well, it so just depends on what, what tier we're in, really, doesn't it? All that, when we're, we're allowed to... <laughs> 
we we're allowed, allowed to go around to people's houses. Who knows? Let's hope it is a bit in the yeah. Road. But I'm a work anyway. Anyway, probably most days, every other day. Yeah. And I hope I can show you the next day, probably in about four or five weeks. Yeah. Okay. There will still be a fair amount to do, but, you know, it will be reached the next stage, hopefully. And hopefully when I cleared all this mess, it'll <laughs> look a bit different. All right. Not to see everybody again, I hope I can see you again in maybe just a few weeks. So, and in the meantime, stay safe.